Hey, hello friends and welcome to Retro Portal Studio. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at creating this swipeable stack in Flutter. You can see that this is a stack of widgets or images specifically, and I can swipe through them. I can click and drag the topmost image. I can swipe it to move it to the right, and I can swipe left to bring back the image and so on. Now, the idea for this type of stack comes from the latest design of the image picker in iMessage. And I came to know about that from a post on Twitter. So I thought to make it myself in Flutter. So without further ado, let's take a look at how you can use this in your own Flutter apps. Okay, so right now I'm on a simple Flutter app with this home page. And in the build function of this home page, I'm returning a simple scaffold with a basic app bar. And in the body of the scaffold, I'm returning a container with a center widget. Other than this, I also have this assets folder right here, which has some images, and I've declared this assets folder in the pubspec.yml file right here. Now, to create that swipeable stack, we don't have to code from scratch. Instead, we'll be using a package called swipe deck. Now, I've just uploaded this package to the pub dev, and it's currently at version 1.0.0. There will be fixes and performance improvements coming to this package, but even now, we can simply use this in our application. So I'll just copy this package, and I'll get back to the application. I'll go to the pubspec.yml file, and under the dependencies section, I'll paste this package name, just like this. I'll click on pub get, and once the application is updated, I'll close the run window and close the pubspec.yml file. So now that we have added the package, all we need to do is we need to add the swipe deck to our layout. For this, I'll remove this container from here, and instead, I'll write swipe deck. And with this, we have the swipe deck here, and the only required property of the swipe deck is a list of widgets. So for this, I have already created a constant with a list of images, and this is a list of image names that are currently in my assets directory. So I'll come down to the build function, and here, I'll use images.map, and I'll map through all the entries in the images list, and for the name of the asset, I'll pass in a path that is assets slash images slash dollar e that is the name of the image and i'll add the extension of dot jpg because all the images in the assets folder are of dot jpg extension now when the map function ends i need to use the to list function to convert this to a list now just by doing this we're ready to test the app so i'll select chrome from here and i'll run the app now as the app runs you can see that i have a stack of images and i can swipe them to the right and as i swipe them you can see that the stack on the right is increasing I can swipe back to move to the previous image and so on. Now, let's take a look at a few customizations that are offered by this package. So the first one is the aspect ratio. We can change in the aspect ratio of the child widgets. And by default, the aspect ratio is four ratio three. So now if we pass in one for the one ratio one aspect ratio and restart the app, you can see that the shadow is now in the desired aspect ratio, but the image is not. The reason for this is because in the image, we need to pass in a property of fit and give it a value of boxfit.cover. And now when I run the app once again, you can see that the aspect ratio of the child widgets is one ratio one. Other than this, we can also pass in a property of start index. And by default, the start index is zero. You can see that we are starting from the index zero and there are no images on the right. But if I pass in a start index of three, we're going to start from the fourth image. That is one more than the starting index. So I'll run the app once again. And now you can see that we're starting from the fourth image. You can use this property to take the user to a particular image in the stack. Along with this, we're also given a property of empty indicator. This property is used in case the list of widgets is empty. So for now, I'll replace this images with an empty list. And for the empty indicator, we'll pass in center with a child of circular progress indicator. At this point, we're given an empty list to the widgets. And now when I run the app, you can see that in the center, we're shown with a circular progress indicator. Now, these are the three customizations that you can do to the swipe deck widget. And there are more performance enhancement, bug fixes, and properties coming to this package. So if you found this package useful, consider liking it on the PubDev website. And you can also check in the code by this GitHub repository. You can post any issues if you find. And you can also ask for other features that you might want in this package. If you find the code useful, consider starting the Git repository. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you do, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And also consider following me on Twitter for future updates. See you next time. Peace.